afternoon. This is HorseRacingNation.com handicapper Jared Horak with your video feature race of the week. This week's feature race for Saturday, March 12th is going to be the eighth race from Gulfstream Park, the Timely Rider Stakes. Three-year-olds are going to be traveling one mile on the main track. This race marks the return of Uncle Mo. Now, speaking of Uncle Mo, do you think you're Uncle Mo's biggest fan? If so, show us your Uncle Mojo, and you could win a $250 future wager in our Uncle Mojo video contest. Visit HorseRacingNation.com for more details. Let's get back to the Timely Rider. I drew a field of six. Well, let's meet the entrance. Now, breaking down on the inside is going to be Uncle Mo. He's going to show some good speed uh, along with Madman Diaries. Madman Diaries breaking from post three. Won the grade three sapling last year. That was at six furlongs. At this one mile distance, uh, Uncle Mo is likely to run that one into the ground. But sitting behind those two in the early going, a uh, rocking out and rattlesnake bridge. And then your, your last two entrants will probably be doing their running in the late going. A uh, Gallant Dreams making the first start since last October. And then Schoolyard Cat looks better on the turf. Now Uncle Mo looks like he's going to be tough to beat in this spot. He went three for three last year. Uh, he broke his maiden by 14 lengths. Then he came back and easily captured the Champagne and Breeders' Cup Juvenile. Obviously he has bigger fish to fry. He's going to run in the, the Wood Memorial after this event, uh, followed by the Kentucky Derby. But this is an easy spot for his return. One mile looks perfect. He's probably going to sit probably just off the pace. If Madman Diaries is going to give him an early tussle, maybe he's going to let that one go and then just try to go around him and, and probably win for fun in this spot. My second choice is going to be Rocking Out. I think this one has a good shot to complete the exact in here. That was a nice debut at Aqueduct at six furlongs. Then he came off the layoff at this course and distance last time out. Ended up ha having a bad start, but he was dueling on the lead. The pace wasn't that quick. Ended up weakening to finish third. Now the winner of that race, free entry, is one of the contenders in the Tampa Bay Derby. Uh, so he did face a quality animal coming off the layoff, uh, running uh, two furlongs further than his debut. Should have gotten a lot out of that race. Seems most comfortable sitting back, making a little bit of a run. I think it's going to be sitting like a mid-pack tight trip. Maybe he can get up and complete the exacta. And my third choice is going to be Rattlesnake Bridge. That was a sharp debut, debut win uh, for trainer Karen McLaughlin. This one has a lot of upside uh, and may end up going off the second choice. Uh, obviously has a shot to, uh, to finish in the top three. This is how I suggest playing this race. We're going to make a $40 exacta, a one-way exacta. We're going to take Uncle Mo on top of rocking out. And that'll wrap up my video race of the week. This is HorseRacingNation.com handicapper Jared Horak. Good luck at the races.